Are you ready to get a bath? You ready to get your bath? Let's do it. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Go ahead. Go on. She's afraid of that floor. Okay. Come on. Come on. Good girl. I hated to do that, but you didn't do it for me. You ready to get a bath? Well, I'm ready for you to get one. A little warm. So I didn't get to show me doing it, but I did, uh, I did soap her body up with the Dawn, like I do on all of them. I put soap on them. I put Dawn dish liquid on them and let it soak in case there's any fleas riding on their hair that don't, the front line didn't get. I've never, ever seen a flea on one of them, ever. Roxy's going on five years old. She'll be five in February, and uh, the girls will be two in November. I've never seen a flea on them. Here's what I'm doing. Scrubbing up the hair on the head and that dirty face because that they eat and they get grime in that face from uh, all their food, all their snacking, drinking water. Hold on, Roxy. I hate doing that. She just got soap in her mouth. Yeah, let me get your face. It's hard to do this with one hand and really get it down in there real well. But I do love having this groomer tub. It's really a lifesaver. Now this is just a tearless dog shampoo that I'm using. And you can see I really I don't spare any. Let me see your teeth. Oh yeah, they're okay for a five-year-old, practically five years old, you're good. Okay, these ears are not that clean. So there'll be a second soaping happen after this because so she's got oil in her hair. You know, people pet them on their head and they do things, you know, let me get a towel. They, they eat, they play, they get wrestled down to the ground. Let's see that face, Pear, Rocky. Rocks in. Let's see what these ears look like. I guess they're okay. They see this hide. It's only been two weeks since she was at the groomer. And you can't, I'd love to bathe them more than that, but you can't really do that. Or you could give them dry skin or problem skin, dry hair, so on and so forth. 
So I'm going to just let that sit on there a couple minutes and uh, really get the, the dirt out. And then I'll rinse her off and I will do it again. Be right back. Okay, my friends, I just want to apologize. I had to mute this part of the video, mute, uh, because the sound of the water was pretty much louder than my voice. Um, I didn't realize it was going to sound like that. This will be Roxy's second soaping, or Rocky, whichever one I call her at the time. And soaking down, you know, soaking it and letting the soap get down to her skin and just waiting around and then I decided to decided to rinse her off get down in there deep and uh, I just I just like to say while I'm trying to repair this mess I made out of the sound how much everyone that can afford to get one of these grooming tubs should get one because I am the age that I am trust and believe three doodles in one day to bathe brush brush bathe is a lot and I'm good I, I don't remember when I started on it and I've had to take breaks because I thought I was out of hot water on my water heater on demand water heater but I wasn't I just wasn't turning the faucet enough to the other side I didn't want to burn them and I think they were maybe bumping against it and I thought I was out of hot water but I wasn't so uh, hopefully when I get past this rinse stage right here, I can uh, let the sound play. But as it turned out, the water was still too loud. So since the water was too loud, I just went ahead and muted the sound and tried to voice over a little bit to save your ears. You know, a good, a good point about having a groomer tub is how you can really get the dog clean. You can get your dog so clean and so well brushed because they're in there, they're standing still, they're waist high. You can actually work with their fur properly. And now I won't do it on this video, but on the last video I did, I dremeled their toenails. I can't remember if I put that on video or not, but we, if you dremel their toenails while they're, after they've had a bath and their toenails are soft, it just, it just zips down, just duh, duh, duh. You know, you can do it so easily. So that's also a great plus with this tub. I haven't said anything lately, but I would like to uh, say I appreciate all the commenters that are always here and always kind and always supportive to watch our girls. Uh, hey Duncan and High Tech and Lisa, Darlene R. There's, there's several others, but I forget right now who they are. My family, my friends, uh, but I appreciate you all. So we carry on with the brushing and the soap.
that slicker brush sounds brutal, but it's really not that bad. I tell you, I'd like to give a shout out right now to Roxy and Paris and Bougie. They are always so good in the bath. Even when I bathe them in the shower, which I have videos of, they're just always so good. They try to do everything I want them to do, even though they're, you know, there's different ones that I'm sure bathe them at the groomers and they've been bathed here. I mean, they, they figure it out and they evolve and they try to do the best they can. They don't get ugly like I've seen dogs do on videos when I watch groomer videos. And uh, that said, if there's anything, any kind of advice that I do ever give anyone, I would say that when you get a golden doodle puppy or any puppy, start them out young, brush them, uh, bathe them, soap them up, be very careful not to traumatize them one time in their bath because they'll always be afraid. Um, I try to, you know, just try to get them used to being handled and touched and their feet touched and take them to be groomed. If they have to be groomed, take them in starting about three months old so that they can learn to go to the groomers. That way your groomer will not hate to see your dogs coming in. And always brush, brush, brush and comb, comb, comb their hair. If you run out of time, sometimes that's understandable but try to do that so that everybody's happy and nobody, you know, wants to take it out on your dog or nobody wants to not groom a certain type of dog like a golden doodle because they always say they're mad at, you know, just keep all that into consideration for everybody. I love a clean dog. So now that she's towel dry, <clears throat> we're putting a little show sheen on her hair. That, that makes their hair so soft. If you blow dry their hair, it just gives you a beautiful finish. And uh, I mean, it's the best conditioner you can put, I think. Now some, one groomer I know said that she didn't really like show sheen, but I love the stuff. I use it on them all the time. Then I brush it through them after they've been towel dried. I'm big on brushing my doodles, even though the last time they went to the groomer, Casey said they were a little more tangled than she thought. And we both thought is what she said. Uh, so I've been trying to pay extra special attention to make sure that they're not tangled. 
Okay, so looks like I can about turn her loose now and let her get out and shake off. Hang on. Let me get you a ramp. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no, not not okay, is it? I forgot to get her noose off. There you go. All right. Okay, so I didn't have time to video Boo when she was dry. You saw her last time when she got a bath. But she is all soaked up now. She's got the tearless shampoo on her head and ears, around her mouth, and she's got the uh, Dawn, watered down Dawn soap on her, on her body. Look at all them grains of grass where her and Paris wrestle. I let her go this morning. I thought it don't matter because she's gonna get a bath anyway. I'm, I'm not wor uh, too sure this little red place that we went to the vet over that it's getting any better. It still feels like there's a little bump back there and I'm, I'm a little worried about it. I'm going to have to watch that thing and I thought it was getting better, but now I'm not sure. I'll have to watch it and see if it's any better. While I'm letting Boo soak, uh, she got soapy, soapy water all over. So... Soap, soap, soap on her body too. Uh, this is her first soaping. I was thinking I was only gonna soap her down once, but I'm gonna do it twice because she's got so much grass in her hair. Anyway, Paris is dry. She's laying there relaxing. Been running around on the porch chasing flies. Roxy's getting dry. She's over there. Roxy, Roxy, are you getting dry, girl? Okay. Anyway, maybe Boo's been soaking long enough and I can go ahead and rinse her off. So now this is the, uh, the third dog, Bougie. She's about to get her bath and I forgot to show me putting her in the tub dry. So you can see down deep in her fur, all those little grass clippings and specks of dirt where Paris has been wrestling, wrestling her down to the ground. They're all gone. So at the end of this video, this particular section of the video, I thought I had uh, gotten bougie when I dried her off with a towel and let her go on the porch to get dry, but someone came up out there and I don't, I don't know for sure if I had the footage or not, I can't find it. You're so clean and pretty. Yeah, you're so good. You're a pretty girl. And Paris is a pretty girl. And Rocky's a pretty girl. You're a clean dog. She pulls her off of me. Hello, whoa, whoa. Hi, what? Hi, what?
boo. So there's my sweet little clean bougie. We'll end this video up with her, Paris, and Roxanne. All having a good time on the porch. Yes, you are. You're having a good time. You're playing on the porch. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. The girls appreciate you. These clean girls. They're about to get their hair brushed. Bye for now.